come to the main fiddle camp old time variety show. We want you to know that it's time to go and join the main fiddle camp old time variety show. Break out that fiddle and bow. There will be music, laughter, bad jokes, and song. You can join in. It's for everyone. Come to the main fiddle camp old time variety show. Break out the fiddle and bow. Welcome to the Maine Fiddle Camp Old Time Variety Show featuring staff and campers of Maine Fiddle Camp. I'm your host, Doug Protzik. Thank you for joining in. And now I would like to introduce my co-host, Glenn Loper. Hey, everybody. I'm super happy to be here. We've got a great show. Oh, hey, it's Doug Protzik. Hey, how's it going over there? All right, Glenn. <laughs> Good Glad to see you. Made Hey, we're both wearing red plaid. I didn't even text you. That's amazing. <laughs> so what's going on, Doug? What's up with you? Well, you know, I love playing music, especially seasonal music uh, at a uh, farmer's market. And uh, I love supporting oh, yeah. farmer's markets, too. I think the farmer and the fiddle always go together and always will, along with the dancing. So uh, uh, and I had a great time playing uh, with uh, one of my favorite piano players louise strong who's been playing old time piano for dances for some 70 years and i love her style so here's a little clip of the fun we had at the brunswick farmers market recently like a lot of fun what a great place that's so cool hey that was fun but hey how about some bad jokes what do you say i've been waiting all month for that yeah okay. let's go all right well what do santa's little helpers learn at school i i'd have no idea the alphabet oh <laughs> i was gonna say algebra but that was wrong <laughs> hey why can't tr christmas trees why can't they knit i don't know they always drop their needles. Oh, yeah. Hey, what goes oh, oh, oh? Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Santa walking backwards. Oh, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> backwards. Hey, uh, what do you get if you cross a bell with a skunk? 
I don't know. Jingle smells, jingle smells, jingle all the way. Okay, why was the snowman uh, looking through the carrots? Looking through the carrot? I don't know. He was picking his nose. Uh, <laughs> that's bad on several levels. Hey, who's Santa's favorite singer? I don't know. Elvis Presley. Oh, of course. Uh, I didn't know that. I should have known. Oh, well. Wow. Well, okay. Those were pretty bad. Uh, bad. Hey, aside from playing music, Doug, have, have you been up to anything else? Anything new with Maine Fiddle Camp? Oh, yes, indeed. I am very happy to announce that we've got a new home for Maine Fiddle Camp. And it's a, a wonderful place with some wonderful people that have welcomed us with open arms and are being so cooperative and supportive and i'd like to share some photos with you right now all right oh yes it's pilgrim lodge in west gardner maine wow it's a beautiful setting yes there's the old lodge the old lodge is there a new lodge oh hey there is. cabins that's like deluxe yes bathrooms and electricity in every cabin oh this is nice. great inside dance space. Yeah, real wooden floors. And a bell right by the water. Oh, I know who's going to use that. Nice lake. Yeah. Cabo Sacanti. It's really great. We're really looking forward to it. And uh, we'll be opening registration in January. Oh, look at the great state of the art kitchen in the brand new lodge. Whoa. <laughs> This is, would be the dining hall, which can hold everybody at Pilgrim Lodge. It's amazing. How about that? And then we've been moving some of Maine Fiddle Camp stuff uh, from our previous home. And uh, here we are moving uh, one of the yeah. cabins that we designed and brought to Maine Fiddle Camp, knowing that someday we might move. And now we're moving them. And, uh, is that Jeff Raymond? That is. That's Jeff Raymond. Yeah, he probably built the cabin too. <laughs> he, he, did, he built it and he moves it. Oh, well, he moved it on. We named the all three first cabins main fiddle camp after main fiddlers. Cabin on its way to its new home. That's the Melly Dunham cabin. Named after Maine yeah. Fiddler. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Jeff Raymond just hauled it right away and brought it over to our new home. Very cool. There's Jim Joseph delivering the Don Messer cabin. Well, here we are loading up the main fiddle camp stage. Heading oh, on yeah, I got to have the stage. There's Warbler leader Bennett Knezny helping out. Howdy. And there's longtime main fiddle camper Milo Stanley, who's back in Maine, <laughs> going to be part of main fiddle camp in the future. Don't Isn't watch. that it's great? Oh, yeah. Milo. There was a we're lot of a stuff to move out here. And we yeah, you got a lot. Man. Great work party. There's a lot of tight end straps. Yeah. Providing some wonderful logistics here with his truck and his experience. Yeah, that was great. Really uh, looking forward to uh, a, a wonderful camp in 2022. Um, two June camps and two uh, August camps. And uh, we'll hopefully the COVID situation will allow us to proceed right ahead. So we're gonna have some preliminary registration opening at the new year. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see how things go. But uh, uh, Pilgrim Lodge is going to be a, a wonderful place and for a new home for Maine Fiddle Camp. Wow, that is so great. Well, Glenn, what do you say we get started with the show? All right. Exciting stuff for Maine Fiddle Camp in the new year. I love it. You know what else I love? The trombone. You know what else I love? Kicking off the show with the trombone and the piano. We're going to turn things over to Hunter Groves tomorrow and Lisa Steckenberger with a little instrumental for you. Take it away. Maine Fiddle Camp, it's us. Uh, we miss you. It's been rough in the pandemic because we haven't been able to see friends. Um... I am doing a song called Camp Town Races with my mom, and then a solo song, which will be We Will Rock You by Queen. And 
These two songs are dedicated to a good friend named Glenn. Uh, Glenn, you are cool, and I think you are nice, and uh, you are one of the coolest people I've met. Here we go. Awesome. Can't wait to see you guys too. And thanks for that nice shout out from Hunter. Now, I'm not saying that everyone who submits a video needs to compliment the hosts, but I'm not not saying it. Uh, next up, a bluegrass classic from our friends Tiaka D. Uh, it's Bill Olson, Pam Weeks, and Jim Joseph. They're going to be playing a song, uh, Christmas Time's a Comin', written by the fiddle player in Bill Monroe's band, Tex Logan. Ladies and gentlemen, start your banjos. Hey, everybody, we are Tiaka D, and we're going to perform a little Christmas song for you in preparation for our upcoming holiday concert. It will be December 21st, that's a Tuesday night, at 645 on my Facebook page. So go to Facebook, find my page, Pam Weeks, and we will see you there. Christmas time's a coming. Christmas time's a coming, Christmas time's a coming. Christmas time's coming, I know I'm going home. Holly in the window, home where the wind blows, can't walk and run in. Christmas time's coming. Can't you hear them bells ringing, ringing joy and walk? Hear them singing when it's snow, and I'll be going back to my country home. Christmas time's coming, Christmas time's coming. Christmas time's coming, I know I'm going home. Happy holidays. And we'll see you Tuesday. 
All right, thanks, Tiakad. That's a really cheery one. Uh, next up, we've got a special treat from Ed Perlman, who's been hosting some incredible concerts with musicians from all around the fiddling world. I'm going to let him tell you all about it. Take it away, Ed. Hi, everybody. Um, I want to thank Doug for inviting me to put together some clips of our fiddleonline.com concerts. Um, mostly I do live workshops, myself and some guests. But um, after the pandemic hit, I started doing live free online concerts um, to connect musicians and listeners. So here are some clips from our June shows. I hope you enjoy them. One, two.
Now, here's some wonderful fiddling folks from Pembroke, Ontario, who I think really have the fiddle camp spirit. And they put together a little video to promote their upcoming concert, and it features their own band, The Fiddle Airs. Hey everybody, it's Anna Level here with the Amazing Fiddle Airs. Uh, we are going through some Christmas music for our December 11th show. We really hope to see you there. This is Little Asher, he wants to dance, so we're gonna play little jingle bells for you guys. Ready? One, two, three, and... <laughs> Thank you, Fiddle Airs. Uh, moving along, we're going to get an original song from R.F. Burks. He's been to Maine Fiddle Camp in the past, and he's going to be accompanied by his friend and King Kukulele, uh, Kenny Raskin, on banjo. Uh, the name of the song is November Afternoon. Hope you enjoy.
anything to satisfy when the day is done. And though you see you're through living among the ruins, it all comes back to you. November afternoons, seasons turn their circles through our lives. But time's an arrow tracing a straight line. If only one thing that you know is true. Thanks, fellas. Great song. Uh, next up, we'll hear from a camper, uh, Max Vilecki from Andover, Mass. He's brought along his piano accordion, and he's got one of my favorite old-time tunes for us, Sandy River Bells. Take it away, Max. <laughs>
<laughs> ah, that's a cool tune. What's that? What's that jig? Yes, that's the Christmas jig by Don. Oh, nice. Now you can uh, get it on the website uh, under oh. our Chris list of Christmas tunes. Um, so anyway, uh, here's some wonderful Maine fiddle campers uh, playing the Christmas jig. We've got Jeff and Mary Philbrick. Take it away, guys. <laughs> This is the Christmas Jig by Don Messer. Jeff and Mary, great playing. Uh, we're getting close to halfway through the show. If you need to stretch your legs, well, Molly Goller's got a friend named Jack, and he's got a fun way to get you up and moving. Oh, Jack. This is Jack. Hello, Jack. Oh, Jack, where are you going? Do you mind? Dancing for us a little bit? We go way back to the late 70s, uh, and uh, thank you for joining uh, the Maine Fiddle Camp Old Time Variety Show, and uh, welcome Oren, and uh, let's see, how how did we meet anyway? What was, what's the story on that? It's kind of an interesting story. I, um, I was living up in Maine, and there was a community orchestra in Great Barrington that was looking for violin players. Even though I was pretty bad, I decided to do it, and when I got there, I met, I saw you and Elaine and, and uh, Greg, and you guys wanted to broaden your musical experiences, I guess. And first time I heard Greg Boardman play, I said, I want to sound like that. I want to play like that. And it was the first time in my life ever really wanted to practice. So I moved to your land. You guys were generous enough to uh, 
let me move there. I built a cabin and spent a year playing fiddle. And that started my music career, I guess you could really say. Right. And then later you moved to uh, Boston and you've been continuing your interest in music and even came to uh, Main Fiddle Camp a, a few years back a couple of times. Uh, yep. And we've been kind of staying in touch. So uh, what you've been doing with music all these decades? Well, I haven't really, I've been doing a, a little bit of performing, but the, the real focus of my work has been using music to work with people. Um, you know, I have musical skills and I have working with people's skills, especially people with special needs. So I became a, a music therapist and also, I would say, a community musician and a music teacher. And um, I do music in preschools. I've done that for years and years, and I love doing music with these kids, teaching them just using basic things like rhythm sticks and folk songs. Um, I, I've worked with elderly. I love working with elderly with dementia. In fact, you even saw me once work, Doug. That was great. Um, and I, I love working with those people. I worked with adults with psychiatric illness, more teaching, but also running a chorus. I still run choruses, just amateur choruses. I just love to get people involved in music who aren't professionals and people especially who think that they can't really do it. I was intrigued with this video that you uh, sent me a link for and uh, that we're going to present. So tell me about uh, your uh, uh, musical inspiration for the, one of my favorite uh, waltzes, uh, The Crested Hen. What, uh, what what did you scheme up here? Well, there were two things coming together. One is that I just ran into that tune in a tune book and I started playing it and I really loved it. It's a haunting, beautiful tune. I also was a friend with somebody who was um, leader of a string quartet. And I've always had a little fantasy to write something for a string quartet. And it, and I thought, and I thought this tune would sound good with a string quartet behind it. And so I actually used Sibelius, uh, music writing software, which enabled me to write four parts for a string quartet. And uh, so the first violin started out just playing the tune. Then I added the other instruments in. And it was really pretty incredible, uh, especially when I heard them do it live. And I wasn't sure if a guitar would be okay behind it or not, but we tried it at rehearsal and they all loved it and I loved it. And it, I just love the idea of having a rhythm guitar behind a string quartet playing a very classical style. You'll see if you hear the tune. It doesn't sound really like a, just a fit, dancey fiddle tune at all. Yeah, it's very nice. So you created a quintet kind of special sound yeah. with, with a backup guitar. And, uh, so uh, thank you so much for joining us here. And uh, so um, we'll play the, 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 the video now. And I guess it, it, it's called The Crusted Quarks, if I'm not mistaken. Right. All right. Thank you, Doug. You bet. Good, great seeing you, Aaron. Okay.
show. This is some of the variety. <laughs> I'm going to tell my joke. Um, there were these two guys, they, uh, and they had a band together. Um, one of them played uh, banjo and the other played accordion. They didn't get a lot of gigs, but, you know, they were doing okay. Um, but surprisingly, one New Year's Eve, they got a call from the local bar owner, and he asked them if they would come play at the bar for New Year's Eve. And they looked at each other. They were quite astounded and, uh, and said, well, well, sure. So they drug everything over to the, to the bar and got started. And people were really interested and they were applauding and having a good time. And uh, New Year's uh, Eve came and went. And, and after, the, uh, after the bar closed down, they were packing up their stuff and the uh, and uh, quite pleased with themselves, and the uh, the bar owner came over and said, uh, "Wow, you know, I mean, everybody really, really enjoyed you guys. You did a really, really great job. I'm wondering if we could, uh, you know, book you again for next New Year's Eve." And the guys looked at each other, astounded once again, and uh, conferred to the bar owner and said, "Sure. Can we leave our stuff here?" Da 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 da. Hey. <laughs> Did you get it? Oh, hey guys, I'm so sorry. I think the coast is clear now. Uh, we left the front door unlocked and some random weirdos just walked in and just started doing that stuff. So I apologize. Uh, next up, we've got a sweet little gospel number from our friend Lewis Eads out in Evansville, Indiana. The title is, I am weary, let me rest. Here's Lewis. <laughs> A kiss me, mother, kiss your darling. Lay my head upon your breast. Throw your loving arms around me. Seems the light is 
is swiftly fading Brighter sins they do now show I am standing by the river Angels wait to take me home Kiss me Thanks, Lewis. We're looking forward to the next one. Uh, you know, one thing I miss about regular Maine Fiddle Camp, the live one, is just that sound of hearing lots of fiddles playing together. Uh, so I'm really glad we've got the next act. Uh, Ellen Goller is going to be joined by her fabulous youth fiddle group, the Pineland Fiddlers. Uh, so here they are. Hey, diddle diddle and fiddle dee dee. Take it away. Thank you. 
Thanks, Pineland Fiddlers. We hope you keep those great videos coming. Uh, next up, we've got another great original song from camper Carol Wise. She recorded this with uh, help from her friend Jeb Caswell, and it's called Beyond Our Own Backyard. I think you're going to enjoy it. Here's Carol. As we wander nature's esplanade We have journeyed there beyond our own backyards Childhood games, hide and seek, count the ten and don't you peek. Kick the can down the road so far. Flying kites, climbing trees, favorite songs, torn out knees. It's Disney light, let's wish upon a star. There's a dinner bell, just run like hell. It's a sound we come to know so well. Don't you keep your mama waiting? Remembering beyond our own backyards And everything will be alright in the end In the end And if it's not alright, then it's not Never lost, we wander and we wonder, no holds barred. We had journeyed there beyond our own backyard. Let's journey there beyond our own backyard. Really beautiful song, Carol. Thank you. Uh, next, we're going to get a lively Christmas song from the British Isles, uh, sung by Sharon Pine, Katie Newell, Elizabeth Wolf, and Ellen Goller. Uh, they've been getting together around the holidays to sing for a long time now, and we're so glad they recorded this for us this year. So take it away. Shepherds and lasses come leaping and dancing, leaping and dancing the eve of Noel. Shepherds and lasses come leaping and dancing, leaping and dancing the eve of Noel. Eve of Noel, eve of Noel. Make up a bed for the sweet Virgin Mary, make her a bed for she now was with child. Shepherds and lasses come leaping and dancing, leaping and dancing the eve of Noel. Shepherds and lasses come leaping and dancing, leaping and dancing the eve of Noel. Eve of Noel, eve of Noel. What shall we give this young child to dear Mary? What shall we give him to do our small part? Shepherds and lasses come leaping and dancing, leaping and dancing the eve of Noel. Shepherds and lasses come leaping and dancing, leaping and dancing the eve of Noel. Eve of Noel, Eve of Noel. Grapes who shall give and feed walnuts and lollies, lollies and grapes in the love of our hearts. Shepherds and lasses come leaping and dancing, leaping and dancing the eve of Noel. Shepherds and lasses come leaping and dancing, leaping and dancing the eve of Noel. Eve of Noel, Eve of Noel. I'd like to give him a dress to adorn him, gloves for his warming and gifts for his birth. Shepherds and lasses come leaping and dancing, leaping and dancing the eve of Noel. Shepherds and lasses come leaping and dancing, leaping and dancing the eve of Noel. Eve of Noel, eve of Noel. 
All right, thanks everybody. What a beautiful song. What do you think, Doug? Oh, yes. Well, I just want to thank every all the performers tonight and also the wonderful audience and all the people that have been supporting Virtual Main Fiddle Camp. And uh, we look forward to uh, another six months of this virtual <laughs> camp leading up to our uh, real camp, hopefully starting in June 2022. Yeah, right. Six more months, everybody. Uh, we're doing one of these every month. So keep those videos coming, man. We had a great show and uh, we're going to do more. So we got a tune, a song, a joke. Help us out, you know. But now it's time for a main fiddle camp tradition of ending the variety show and the evening with a, a lullaby. And so here's Lissa Schneckenberger and Corey DeMario with our lullaby tonight. 